What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Queen of Time. In the last episode I got the silver skill and this fat dude moved his ass. So now we can finally pass him. Yeah, we really need to take a walk for that. Whoops. And behind him is another area. Which is called... Zora's Fountain, and over there is a really big fish with some armor on it called Lord Yabu Yabu. But I am not gonna get Lord Yabu Yabu yet, because what I'm gonna do is... I think this is a little bit quicker. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, I can't get that yet, I think. Can I? Nope, I can't. Because I need the boomerang for that. And I will get that once I cleared Yabu Yabu's dungeon. I'm gonna tell you already, after I'm done with Lord Yabu Yabu's dungeon, I will have to do a lot of backtracking for all the um, missing skull shell tokens. And here's the one I actually need. Dun, dun, dun. So now what I'm gonna do is... I got 30, so the next time I'm in Kakariko I definitely should um, exchange my 30. But anyways, there is a hidden wall up here. And you need to enter that. And it's another great fairy's fountain! So what I can do with that is... Oh, yeah, Phil. That's better. I'd rather use the Nintendo 64 controller for that, as it has the buttons. And this, I'm using um, Y, up C, X. And if I mispress, then yeah, I can redo it. And another great fairy appears, and she's also lying on her side, so that signs pretty much that she's also gonna give me a magic spell. I think. Welcome, Particle. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. I will. No worries. And she's creating a green ball, which means we're gonna get a green spell, of course. And I assume that it's due the Courage God Ferrari, or actually Goddess. And indeed, it's Ferrari's wind. This is warp magic you use. Warp when you're in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create the warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point, or warp to it. So, it can only be used in dungeons though, that's the um, downside and dungeons with a dungeon map inside and the other dungeon does not count so our magic and our HP uh, gets refilled and here we go this is Ferrora's Wind and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it but in case I really wanna I'll keep it apart no worries so having done that we have cleared all the items we need to get in order to enter Lord Yabu Yabu's belly but his mouth is not open yet. So we need to open it. And let's see, where is he? I must say, he is uh, pretty large if you, s if you look at him. Like, um... That. It's a large fish. And what you need to do is get the fish, which, you caught in the pre with I which I caught in the previous episode, and drop it in front of his nose. Just like this. And he will be like, oh, I just magically disappeared, I guess. And he's like, fish hungry! Nom 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 nom. And the fish goes in. And you can already guess it. I'm coming along in Yabu Yabu's belly! Wow. And this inside Yabu Yabu's belly. I'm at his face now, and this is the third dungeon. I'm inside a fish. Way to go, Nintendo. So, these things can be... Yeah, I highly recommend you to get your regular shield here, as you will not need to fire a lot of stuff. Those things can be... Um, no, you can slash them with, a, with your sword. But you need to shoot these, though, to open the door. And... Yeah, those things are electrical uh, charge, so I highly recommend you to not um, do anything with those guys yet. Until you get the boomerang. Going in here, and especially... There's nobody over here, so it seems. 
However, if you enter though, guess what magically appears? It is pretty obviously Princess Ruto. You, who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zorath. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father's worried about me? I don't care. Wow, what a bitch. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here. Understood? Oh no! What kind of... I actually should leave a rod down there, but no. I'm a hero, so I'm gonna al go along. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Yawa's belly since I was little, but... Lord Yawa is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was, but that's none of your business. Anyway, go home. Oh, well, actually, no. There is a culture there. I'll get it later. There are two of them, actually. If you look, there's one above my head and one above her head. Is that a sign? You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. I can't believe... Yeah, I actually should toss her in some enemy or something and let her get electrified. But once again, I am a hero. And you can actually burst these bubbles if you use Ruto. Like that. So we're in this room. And there's a sculpture over there, which we will get in a moment. And better ignore those things. And can I go her up there? Yes, I will. I can go throw her. She's light. So... I'll throw up there, in the meantime I will one, two shot that thing, ignore those, as those things are annoying. Really annoying. Else you can just shoot them, but... Now what you need to do is step on this switch to make the water rise. And then I can climb up on here, get my skull chill up, and... A fairy? Oh, wait a minute, that's interesting. Since I got an empty bottle, I will catch this fairy. So, whenever I die, my HP gets automatically fully restored. So, yeah, that's pretty much of a one-up here. Can I make that? Yeah, I can, it saves me a lot of time. So I'm gonna pick her up and drag her along. Again. Now, in this dungeon, there are four gold sculptural tokens and the boomerang, which we need to collect. And for some reason, this switch is closed, so I'm gonna shoot this so I can open the door and carry the princess along. Oh, oops. Well, I actually killed, killed the bubble throwing the princess, but yeah. Now I can kill that one just like that. And I'm gonna leave the princess here for a moment. Yeah, I am really rude, I know. And see what's below here, because I believe there is something now, which I... Oh, it's a Decoscrub Salesman, never mind. I thought it was something useful. And Decoscrub Salesmen are not useful. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get here. She's just sitting here like, oh, just pick me up or something. I mean, ugh. Oh, I can't stand bitches like that. So I am waiting for the platform to appear, which appears like now, because we need to carry the princess up. And yeah, she's just sitting like looking around and being like, what the hell? So I'm gonna walk along, and I need to carry Princess um, Ruto all the way. Now there's one. There's, there are a few things important here. First of all, the blue, the green thing there, I was gonna say blue. I'm not colorblind, and yeah. The green thing over here, oh my god. Wow. Watch out, particle. Electricity is running through this green slimy thing. So you cannot hit it. But that's the hole we need to get later, and oh my god, I'm getting chased. So now we're here. This is sort of tree split road. And those things, ah! Well, actually, I can use Ruto to kill those. Ruto is a very efficient weapon, you know that? So what I'm gonna do is drop Ruto here. And go in here. Now the problem is, I can't kill that thing yet, so I obviously took the wrong door. 
And now she's standing there being pissed off, like, How inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? Well, because I can, bitch. Better deal with it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the other side, because this left place is blocked as well, so we're gonna do the exact same here. Ooh, I almost threw her up. So... This switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your right alone. Why do you think I have a princess on my back? One, two. And now I can actually go in there. I'll just take the princess along, I don't know why. Now let's see what's in here. Oh, it's those things. One. Miss. Two. Nice shot. That's nice. That's nice. And that's a miss. And that's a miss as well. I'll just shoot it down. One. And two. That's bad. Now by doing that, a large chest appears. And what could be in this chest? Let's take a look. Dum dum dum. In there is the boomerang! Which you got pretty freaking early. And I can attack distant enemies with it. I got a feeling I missed the dungeon map. Oh well, I'll look for it later. This is the boomerang, ladies and gents. This item can... You can throw it, can kill distant enemies, and also can carry things along like heart pieces or God's Cultula tokens. So by having that, I'm pretty sure I need to get a lot more. Well, anyways... I'm gonna do... no, wait, I'm not. Ah! I'm gonna go here. How? Well, I'm glad I got enough hearts, so I'll stand on here. I said stand on here, or just drop her like... no! 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 I was gonna drop the princess on there, so like this. That's better. Now I can drop Princess Bruto and go in here. And this thing can be attacked with the boomerang. If I approach enough. Like that. That's one. Approach. And that's two. And approach. And that's three. And approach again. And I missed. Oh, I missed. And there we go. Now a chest appears, which is good. I wonder what will be in there. And because we've killed that thing, one of the portals is open now. So we can go there. And inside here is the dungeon map, so I didn't miss it. Really good. I think this is the only dungeon which has the map before the uh which sorry, which has the map after the item. So he's like, how could you leave me behind? I don't care. So if you look very close and I think it's here, see? It's gone. The red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will it work with the other ones too? Well, I'm pretty sure it does. So what I'm gonna do here, this is the timed thing, and you need to kill all these. So you can either bump into them. I wonder, would this fire work? I don't know, I really don't know, but I'm just gonna try it. So I'm standing in the middle, and being like, take this! Yeah, it actually works. Wow, that saves me a lot of time. And... done. So if you got the magic for it, definitely use the Inspire app as well. Cut the time for you. A lot. So we got another big chest, and since the dungeon map and the item were in it, this must be the compass. There's no other way. This must be the compass. And it is. Pretty obvious one. Now let's go out of here. And... If I recall correctly, we need to go there and ignore those things. And I know that the thing on the left is still there, so I'm gonna see if this one's gone and this one is gone. So proceeding through here, we got another slimy thing. So this one's exactly the same as the other ones. So attack it, approach, let's swing back, attack it, approach, let's swing back. Rinse and repeat and bye bye and it's gone. So and the door opens. You got no chest because you already got enough. So what I'm gonna do is go in here. And 
and I'm pretty sure that the middle door is open right now. But I am, yeah, it is. But I am gonna cut it off. In the next episode of Ocarina of Time, I will start part two of this dungeon. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub. I'll see you soon.